Are they gentle beings? Level 35. Legion Arenas, Celtic Campaign. We're playing on very hard with a mediocre army. End of the campaign. The ambush was a bloody affair but inconclusive. The Britons were forced to withdraw despite success in some areas. It soon became clear that the fate of Britain would be decided in a set battle. Both sides have mustered large forces and this promises to be an epic struggle. Having proved your worth in previous engagements, you are the, again given command of the right flank. An impetuous British commander on the left has charged the Roman line with his chariots before the army was ready. Initially this caught the Romans off guard, but without support the British are beaten back and the right flank is in jeopardy. jeopardy. All you can do is look after your flank, kill as many Romans as you can, but save your men as you expect. As you may need to make a fighting withdrawal if, if the battle turns out as you expect. Right, so take less than oh, 85 casualties. That is not a good thing. This army is not good at taking as less casualties as we can. We're up against the 7th Claudia Pia Fidelis Legion and they're getting better. Actually, cavalry is getting better and these auxiliars are also pretty good. Bugger. So what is a general to do when his legion or army basically stinks to I was gonna say high heaven but middle heaven and how to deal with that so I want to get rid of these guys but I'm not sure if sending some cavalry or whatever into it is a good plan here um, what might actually work is just use these nobles to get around the rest of them basically should hold. I mean, they're they're not good at taking casualties or making sure they've got as few casualties as they can at all. I mean, it's In battle after battle, this army does not do that well. So then, what shall we do? Well, well, dig in, pray to whatever god these guys believed in and I hope it turns out kind of okay I'm gonna use these guys to anchor this flank and yeah it's um I'm not happy at all with this battle you might tell by my tone of voice but yeah so what are we up against here? Troll that it's. And that leaves actually these guys out, so. And we got our general. I'm actually thinking about leaving our light infantry, our light cavalry at home, but we might need them somewhere. So I'm gonna put them at the back here actually not much use to us a casualty count is just pain in the hours right so let's see make sure everyone stays except our heavies here they should charge that Oh, oh. oh man, these guys, these have the cavalry guys, they're good, they're awesome, that's just all I can say about it, man, they're taking down two, two complete units, I'm not even sure. I'm gonna make a little go for three here. So they're gonna throw javelins. 
And then the charge. <gasps> take on that last one but I'm not gonna blame him any anything over I mean, they did wonderful Some of these guys have charge that and that actually no bad thing for us they're in the scrub now yeah Light infantry just makes it look so easy. You and your men managed to escape, but with Cassivalonus defeated, the British resistance came to an end. By September, peace had been arranged, and the Romans returned to Gaul. Roman invasion had done little except take some hostages and receive tributes from some tribes. Of most significance was the dignity it saved Caesar. He could now go to Rome as the first Roman conqueror to enter Britannia, a country many believe to be a myth. All right, somehow a mediocre army pulled it off. And we won the day. Let's see, these guys, I give them dodge. That's what they're good at, these archers. They're doing well. Let's see what we got. They're good. And these these cavalry, they saved our bacon. I told you. Anything that goes with it. Oh, they don't need any helmets. They're good. They're good. So. We're gonna upgrade their helmets a bit. And then call it a day. This was level 35. See you all next time.